Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn, how can we insert multiple records into MYSQL database by using single text area field by using PHP script. There are many time in web development, in which we want to insert multiple records in database, for this here we will use text area field with PHP script. For describe this topic, here we will take one insert multiple email address, at the same time by using text area field with PHP script. So, on single click, multiple email address will be inserted into MYSQL table by using PHP with text area field. Now let's start learning this topic. So this is our testing database, here we have one table email list, we will insert multiple data into this table. Now we have go to PHP script, so this is index page, and under this page, we have already add bootstrap library. First under this page, we have create one form, so here we have write form tag, with attribute method is equal to post. Under this form, for enter multiple email address data, so here we have write text area field, with name is equal to email address. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to add, and value is equal to add. Below this form, we want to display email list, so here we have create one table with one table column like email address. Now we want to fill data into this table. For this we have move for PHP script. So, header of this page, here we have defined two variable like, dollar error and dollar output variable with blank value. After this, we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to, nuke to class. Under this, we have write MYSQL host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. After making database connection, here we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from email list, order by email list ID in descending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement. Under this, we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. Same way for execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, it will execute query. After query execution, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with row count method value greater than zero. If suppose after query execution, number of row affected greater than zero, then it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, under this we have write, dollar output variable. And in this variable we have append, HTML code like open and close table row tag, and between this we have write table data tag with no data found message. 
but suppose above condition false, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. Below this, we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and under this we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag. And between this we have write table data tag, and between this tag, we have write dollar row email address variable, it will print email address under this tag. So, this way we have store, mysql data in table format under this variable, now here we have write, echo statement with dollar output variable, it will fill this table with data. Now, we have proceed for submit form data, so here we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, is set function with, dollar post add variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, with dollar post email address variable. This condition will check, if dollar post email address has blank value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar error variable is equal to, email address list is required. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write, dollar array variable is equal to, explode function, with two argument. In first argument, we have write new line as string delimiter, and second argument we have write dollar post email address variable, this function will convert text area field data, into an array. Now we want to remove, duplicate email address from this email address array, so here we have write, dollar email array variable is equal to array unique function and under this we have write dollar array variable this function will remove duplicate email address from this dollar data array variable now want to make query for insert multiple array data into mysql table for this here we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into email list table with email address table column with values open and close bracket and between this we have write implode function with two argument in first argument we have write apostrophe close bracket comma open bracket apostrophe and in second argument we have write dollar email array variable it will make single insert query for insert multiple array data into table below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute query, it will execute above single insert query for multiple data insert into mysql table. After this, we have write dollar error variable is equal to, message like data inserted successfully. For display this message after form submission, 
we want to display on web page, so here we have write echo statement with dollar error variable, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see, when page has been load into browser, then on web page we can see simple form with text area field and add submit button, and below we can see table with no data. Now we have directly click on add button, after click on add button, on web page we can see email add list is required message on web page. So, we have enter some email address, here we can see in one line we have enter one email address, so on every line we have define one email address, so here we have defined five email address. In this five email, there one email is duplicate, now we have click on add button, after click on add button, we can see data inserted success message on web page. Below form, we can see multiple inserted email in table. So, this way we can insert multiple data in single query execution. Suppose, we want to 10 plus email address, in single click, so we have enter email address list here, and click on add button, after click on add button all email address has been inserted into MYSQL table. So, this way we can use text area field, with PHP for insert multiple record into MYSQL table. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.